This story is called Can Bears Ski? Dad Bear has a hard time waking me up in the morning. One, the radiator shakes. Two, the bed rumbles like a large empty tummy. Three, the windows by the bed tremble. Four, Dad Bear takes one heavy step forward. The ceiling cracks. Five. My eyes snap awake. I explode out of bed. My feet hit the ground. I'm up, I'm up. I put on sky blue socks, my orange trousers and my yellow jumper. I like my colours loud. It's been snowing. Everything feels still. No rumbling, no trembling. It's like everything is breathing quietly. Then I feel Dad's voice. One, the banisters shake. Two, pictures wobble. Three, stares flinch. I'm coming. I'm coming, I say. I gobble gobble breakfast. Dad Bear has the TV on. I can see a man in a blue bodysuit skiing fast down the slope. Dad Bear is saying something to me. I think he says, Can Bear ski? I shrug. I'm not sure I heard him right. I eat the last of my porridge. It's time for school. Dad Bear talks a lot on our way to school. I hear the crunch, crunch, crunch of the snow. Dad Bear stops and looks directly at me. Your friend was saying hello. Why did you ignore him? I didn't. I didn't. Then Dad Bear asks again. Can bears ski? Is that really what he's asking me? Teacher Bear approaches Dad Bear. I can only hear little pieces of what they are saying. Have to sit. Front of class. Teacher Bear stamps on the ground. I feel the ground shake, so I look up. He is saying something to me, but I can't quite work it out. I wonder if it's, can Bear ski? David Bear sits next to me at lunch. He is talking a lot. Suddenly, laughter bursts out everywhere. I don't know what everyone is laughing at. He asked me a question. Can bears ski? I don't know. One day, Dad Bear picks me up early. We are going to meet someone with a name I can't say. She writes her name like this. Audiologist. It's a really hard word to say. She puts headphones on my head. She wants me to put a block on the table every time I think I hear a sound.
Then she showed us something called an audiogram. It's also a hard word to say. On the audiogram, my results are the shape of a ski slope. I imagine skiing down it. The audiologist asks, can bears ski? After a week and a few more tests, I start hearing therapy and lip reading classes too. The audiologist gives me plastic ears called hearing aids. They feel uncomfortable at first. Everything sounds like robots. The audiologist asks, Can you hear me? Whoa! Is life this loud? Sometimes I get tired and sound stops making sense no matter how loud it is. Sometimes I take my hearing aids out and lose them. I guess I'm not used to them yet. Can bears ski? I still don't know how to answer that question. Dad Bear reads a story aloud. He looks directly at me. I can see his whole face and he speaks clearly. I can feel his big voice and see the words on the page. So I follow Dad Bear's finger. There is a big picture of the moon. I know what the moon is saying because I can see its whole face and the moon is speaking clearly. Can you hear me? Says the moon. I say, bears can ski. And that is the end of the story. But we've also got a sign language alphabet at the end of the book. Now this is the BSL, British Sign Language Alphabet. But British Sign Language uses the same alphabet as Auslan, which is Australian Sign Language. This isn't